To meet the needs of today without compromising the needs of the future generation is our responsibility, considering that we are in the midst of a planetary crisis that affects everyone. So take note that as of the moment, we are 7.2 billion people in the planet. In the Philippines, ranks the 12th, and the population is 100 million, and it is increasing at the rate of 5,700 people in, in the Philippines. It is very alarming that uh, while the, while the um, population is growing up, the life support system, which humans and all other organisms depends, is continuously losing its capacity to regenerate. The life support sources of the following, land, air, and water. Land is the medium of our plants to grow for our food. Without food in 30 days, we die. For fast grow, the chemical companies are trying to entice the growers to use chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides. Yes, it's fast grow, but using chemical fertilizers kills the soil and using chemical pesticides kills the fish instantly, but the people who eat this farm produce will be killed slowly. Air. Air is the name given to the atmosphere which, has, which is composed of nitrogen and oxygen. Oxygen, 98% of the oxygen are coming from the trees and the plants in the oceans, which they call as phytoplankton, which is actually produces oxygen through photosynthesis. The trees are our lungs of the earth. The trees cleanse the air, it gives off it, it gives off oxygen and takes in the carbon dioxide. And we humans take in the air, our lungs process and bring it to the blood, releasing the oxygen. The trees are very important to mankind. But where is the trees right now? Where are the trees right now? In 1900, out of the 30 million hectares of land in the Philippines, 20 million are forested. Now, it's less than a million. So less trees, less oxygen, more carbon dioxide in the air, and then that's illness. More, more carbon dioxide that goes to the atmosphere that would add to the problem of global warming. More carbon dioxide that sinks to the ocean will acidify parts of the ocean and it's not good for everyone. Water. People kill each other because of gold and even diamonds. And countries go to war because of oil. But the most expensive thing on earth is worthless without water. Without water in three days, we die. What happens to the water? We contaminate the water sources like the creeks, the rivers, and the dams. We don't realize that it goes down to the aquifer. We're supposed to pump it before drinking it. We, can, we put chlorine, which is toxic, and we drink it. We are killed slowly. Other things, urban migration. People in the province want to go to the city, but they don't realize that they have problems of housing and garbage. The biggest thing, the biggest problem on earth that we're facing right now is global warming and climate change because we are so dependent on oil and energy. In 2001, I had the privilege to join the City Council of Cebu and being the chairman on the Committee on Our Environment, I know these things, so I made a lot of awareness in programs. And one of the things that I've realized that if you don't do programs that people can see, that they don't believe in you. So that's why this is the time that we started to do the Echo House. Tour with me as I go a virtual tour for two minutes. These are, we use recycled materials. These are recycled, uh, recycled metals and recycled plastic. We plant, we plant vegetables for our food. We plant vegetables for our, for our animals too. <laughs> We recycle water. This is the recycling water for gray water. Gray water is the water from the laundry and from our shower. Normally people throw them away, but we, we recycle them. We use sand and gravel, and we use plants which we call as the bandera española, the one is actually in the canals. They filter the water. The filtered water goes to our ducks. 
In Cebu, we have 30,000 kilos of garbage a day. So instead of throwing garbage outside from our house, going to the dump, we bring garbage to the house. We bring garbage 3,000 kilos a day from the market. We segregate them, the useful ones are fed to our chickens, to our goats, and to our pigs. Now, these are what we call, a glo uh, I mean, we, we call as the, the natural farming thing. We don't feed them with the chemicals. And we collect the waste of the pigs, the chickens, and the goats with a, with a human waste and build what we call as a digester that produces gas for cooking. After it's being segregated, all the waste supposed to be goes to a certain place. The waste that's cannot, that cannot be eaten by the goats and the pigs, we put that in the composting area and we produce 30, 50, even 100 kilos a day of garbage. The recycled materials, the recyclables, like the plastics, uh, the styrofoam, and the glasses, we made this as component of blocks. We're doing this for our garden. And we use also wood for our furnitures. And we supply our own water. We have a solar pump which pump water from the ground into the, and, 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 into the tank and going down using gravity, we don't use energy. And this is my house. This is built in 2005 and is finished in 2008. I, you, being an electrical engineer, I had a dream to energize my house with the four solar energy. For the first few years, I installed five panels, which is about 500 watts, and I installed a wind turbine, which is about 400, 400 watts, and I have about 900 watts supplying the electricity that's used that's used for, for lighting. This is during the, during the night. And afterwards, I was able to construct the 10 kilowatt uh, power supply solar, which is, I think, the biggest in the Philippines for a for housing uh, system that can produce 10,000 watts during the day. I, have, I am using 5,000 watts, and the other 5,000 5, watts, I give it to our neighbors for free. And this is the closer look of the solar system. You have 40 pieces of solar panels, and this is, and this is the, and this is the power uh, control, power system control. This is the, this is what we call as the standalone system. We don't pay anything to Verco. We, we are st standalone, and this is. This is what's inside the house. We use, we have an atrium that feed, uh, that feed the daylight going to the mirror, and the mirror spreads the light to give light to the, to the rooms. And we use a lot of recycled materials for the light, for lighting. And these are the bow stairs, and these are the wood that's made, um, uh, uh, furniture is made out of wood. And this is our biggest water tank collection. Rainwater tank is about 30,000 liters of rain. And we have an experiment, we call that as aqua aquaphonics. We use the water that's coming from the pan, which is a little bit dirty, we feed it to the plants, and we use medium as stones. We plant, uh, we plant the plants in the stones. And what goes, what goes down is a water that is very <coughs> clear already. Now, the house, is very popular. People come into the house 500, uh, 500 per week. But for me, this is not a very sustainable house. So that's why I have tried to make a house which is the lot area is 100 square meter. The house floor area is 80 square meter. And I multiply it because I have a roof. It's another 80, which is about 160 square meters. The other one, it produces food needed for the occupants. I, you don't have to buy. The second one is the in-house processing. The in-house processing, I'm sorry. The in-house processing of biodegradable waste using vertical composting. Now, we gather seeds. When we eat, we gather seeds, we make, we, we grow the seeds, and during birthdays, we, we, we encourage people, we plant during the birthdays. Filtration of gray water, we have a technology which I was able to get from a friend from Switzerland, that from gray water and rain water, we will have a filter station, which is actually, we call that as the garden filter. 
right after the garden filter, we actually get the water from the filter and we feed it to the water closet. This is the one that we use for, uh, for, for, for flushing the toilet. And we have also a filtration, this is number nine, for the black water. The black water is the water that's coming from the comfort rooms and it goes to the septic tank. The septic tank offloid goes to what we call as a banana, banana circle. Our house is low wattage and high efficiency lighting. And uh, we use LEDs and we use the lighting also. And we use the principle of passive cooling. The passive cooling is bringing in and bringing outside uh, the air. We use energy efficient appliances, high energy efficiency ratio, air conditioning, refrigerator, and induction cooker and TV. And one thing, our house generates its own hot water. And the last is we generate our own power using this is the water filter this is the, what we call as the filter for black water these are the light uh, light emitting diodes fixtures and this is um, you see this this is the light coming from the roof which is daylight from the sun and this is the house and this this is house is generate is generating its own its own uh, uh, solar water heater and it is generating its own power with 4000 watts now this is what we call as the net metering this is the first meter in the Visayas and Mindanao that actually counts the power that's coming from from the grid and feeding to the grid meaning to say during the day I am generating power in my solar panels and my solar panels actually feed my load and if my load is greater than that of what I am generating I'm going to get power from the grid however if during the day like Saturdays and Sunday I'm not using my power I am giving power to the grid in this house I am paying Paying, I am paying 600 pesos a month. All the rooms are air conditioned rooms, using cooker, using everything that you can think of. This is 600, and sometimes I pay nothing. What I have presented to you is a showcase of environmental projects that I found to be very attractive and somehow alleviating the giant problems that threaten the sustainable future. The sustainable house which I built is a way of enjoying life's comfort and luxury without dis disobeying the laws of nature. Though in our lifestyle, we have disobeyed these laws, but we can deliver small packages of practical solutions to start a sustainable future today. Thank you. And good